in this video I wanted to bring back a series that I used to do on my channel called the blitz of the day and basically what it is is every single day I just wanted to bring you a pressure concept something simple maybe you already know about it maybe you don't um, but this is just something I wanted to try out for the summer I thought it'd be fun and something that I kind of want to carry into Madden 23 and then it's just breaking down pressure and so we're going to start today with the easiest blitz in Madden 22 to run um, and that is the nickel 335 wide I'm going to show you how to set this blitz up and I'm going to show you two different ways to run it in this video uh, both can be very effective one is really really good for trips tied in the other I think is pretty good for a bunch so without further ado let's get into the video now if you're new to the channel my name is Cody we do videos like this every single day and if you want to get better at Madden make sure you hit that subscribe button also if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook all of my ebooks are accessible by joining our patreon membership so by jo joining the patreon you will get access to that defensive guide in addition to the rest of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides and the link to sign up for that is down in the description okay so let's talk about this 335 wide so I'm in the 46 playbook and the really the the blitz is best ran out of the Mike blitz three or the Mike blitz zero um, you can run this from any play uh, you just need to blitz your linebackers but it's really a simple setup and the reason we want to come out of nickel 335 normal is because as you can see here I'm able to put safeties at the linebacker position going to be able to cross man and do some different things like that so we're just going to come out in any play in this play in this formation and we're just going to audible down to whichever one of these uh, plays we want to run so the first example we'll use the Mike Blitz zero now the simplest setup for this um, is to crash your defensive line out and then to QB contain and then you're gonna stand right about here and you're just gonna run down for just a split second and what you'll see is you'll get a really fast uh, blitzer coming off of that running back side uh, that running back side edge so again just audible to this if you don't crash your line out the blitz should still come in all you have to do is contain as you can see right here you just need to run down at the center a little bit and really what you want to do is you want to stand uh, whenever you're playing the gun bunch formation ideally you want to be able to stand opposite of the center just like this right here that's just going to make the blitz a little bit more consistent and the reason we want the blitz to come in on that left side and the reason that we contain um because you'll see here if you just want to run the splits and you don't contain i'll show you that this blitz can still come in you'll see it still comes in really fast and does really well on that side however one of the things that i wanted to point out to you is one of the real beauties of this blitz is if they block their running back this blitz can still come in but you'll see right here if we don't contain a lot of times he's able to cut block that outside linebacker that is able to come in and so what we want to do is by simply qb containing we're going to get a better uh, chance to be able to come in against this running back so you see right here we qb contain and you see how he loops around the running back and is still able to sack the quarterback now, what I find interesting about the nickel 335 wide, one of the last pieces of this, is if I stand to the running back side, you'll see here that the blitz is not as consistent against the gun bunch formation. So if I stand on the left side of the center, the blitz is not as consistent as I stand on the right side of the center. With trips formations or bunch tied in or any of those sets, it's kind of inversed. And so essentially the best rule of thumb is to stand opposite side of the running back. Now, I'm gonna show you a cool concept here for the trips tied in as well so again i'm going to audible down to mike blitz zero and what you'll see here is all i'm going to do is contain and i'm going to stand just to this side of the center and what you'll see the snap of the ball is the same basic thing um, actually didn't come come in completely free there and that is why i generally like to crash up because with the crashing line up even if it doesn't come in you're going to get better sheds and i think it actually does improve uh, the chance of this blitz coming in. So here's a crash line up version. And as you can see, well, that time it, it still didn't come in. I don't know what my guy's doing out there. Um, so the extra adjustment that I like to do against trips tight end is to spread my defensive line and crash my line up. And really what we're trying to do is get this pressure to come off of this left side. If we can get it to come off this left side, that's how we know that we've, we've won. You'll get some random pinballing and things like that. But by and large, um, this will generally, you know, come in off of that trip side uh, one thing you can do to help it is to just spread the line spread the linebackers um, if you wanted to crash your d line um, to the to the trips tight end or to that that left side right there 
um, you'll see here that if we do that, um, you know, it, it can help. But as you can see, this five man pressure is pretty good. Now, where this pressure can be problematic for trip side in players is uh, when when a lot of people like trip side in, they're going to run this little play action plan as you see um it can actually pick this up it actually can uh pick it up fairly well in fact and so this again is one of those things where with trips tied in it's a little bit of a nuance um in terms of how we want to blitz this but basically what we're going to do when we face trips tied in is we're really going to kind of get over here and we just want to make sure to really run down and get this guard to come get us and you see how he's going to push that guy right into the quarterback and kind of really push the pocket um, in a way so essentially what you have to understand as far as your user responsibility your user responsibility is to mess with the guard on the side that your user is on so you're running you're not running at the center you're running at the guard this year um, as you can see right there and that's that's something that you got to kind of pay attention to a little bit you really want to try to make sure that you're pulling this guard um, because if you can pull the guard that's really where I think your success is going to be running this split so I'll show it to you one more time here and again, we can you can mess with the crashes of the D line because um, as you can see right here, it wants us to stand here. So if I was to crash my line down, you see here I could come over here, or if I crash my line to the right, um, I could come over here. Let me see if I can get my play art to be not so dumb. But anyways, you see now this guard um, is going to react to us a little bit better, and you see how we can get some disengages on the line of scrimmage. So this is a simple way that you can blitz out of the out of this formation um you know i think that the trips tight end um is really not equipped well uh to handle this in particular pressure if you can pull the guard now where this defense also shines is it's got you can do the same thing from a zone look so you see here this is mike blitz three it's exactly the same look and you'll see now I'm going to try to run my play action. You see I get that guard again. And you can see my guy is bluff blitz and I forgot to crash my line out. But you see the idea. So this is the beauty of the nickel 335 wide. Um, one thing that you can kind of mess with if you want to is this blitz can still come in pretty well. Um, and something like this, uh, as you can see, because of the fact that, again, we're trying to mess with the guard. If we can get the guard to suck inside almost every single time this blitz will come in. So anyways, that is the 335 wide. Now, if you want to get the rest of the nickel 335 defense, I would really encourage you to. Uh, join my patreon membership it's only ten dollars to sign up for that and it'll get you my entire uh four six defensive ebook with the big nickel over g the three three uh three three five three three five wide nickel normal all of that stuff is in there for you so if you want to check that out the link is available in the description below